Now, you just talked, you mentioned the ex estate. Okay. Yeah. So let's go a little bit into that. Okay. So I know you started producing food for yourself and mm -hmm. you involve other people. I, yeah. I, I assume that include the, the estate. So tell yeah. us about, about that. How, yeah. uh, how you, you grew the concept into an estate, you know, and how yeah. big is it? And yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so literally, um, I say to people um, that um, every human being needs three basic things, mm. food, water, shelter. If you have access to those things, you as a human being can literally thrive, you know? So um, that um, itself is the foundation of the whole concept, you know, food, water, shelter. So I was like, okay, um, in order to also generate, you know, um, food, because you get a lot of people who say, I want to farm, I want to grow my own yeah. food. But after they try it like for two, three months, they get you know tired and like, hey, this is a lot of work. They don't know farm is farm is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so literally that now gave birth to the estate concept where I was, I was like, okay, um, if you have X amount of homes, um, like you have like let's say 50 homes, like um it within the estates, um they produce organic waste. It's amazing how much organic waste um every human being you know produces. Yeah. So with organic waste, you know we send it to a section where we now convert that into energy. So the energy can be electricity, it might be cooking gas, you know. So we now, you know, match that with the solar energy system being generated, you know, and then we have enough energy to now, you know, power the household and also power like certain machineries, you know, within the estate. And that literally creates a microeconomy system. So literally, yeah. Um, we have our own economy system within the essay. So if we are producing uh, tomatoes, potatoes, or whatever, and the outside, you know, world is also producing the same, they have they experience factors. You know, you look at um, um, the the shipping of the um, those food crops from one place to another. Yeah. You know, you know, they are middlemen who need to make their money out of it. And the insecticides that need to be bought, you know, which is not healthy, you know, and so and so there's so many factors that drives the prices of um, food, yeah. you know, around the world. And we see that today, how food is does on the increase, you know. So but within our estates, that doesn't happen. We have a fixed economic system that literally, if we are grow if we are selling one tomato for um one dollar, that is what you get for years to come. Because um, there are no outside factors affecting, you know, um, wow. our production. You know, so that itself now creates um, abundance within the um, um, estate. You know, where we give people, you know, the chance to thrive. Just imagine you and your family living within the estate, and you don't need to like, you know, worry where your next meal will be coming from. You are guaranteed that there is food within the estate. You know, so. Literally, you and your family, if you love, you know, doing your podcast money tonight, mm. it, it doesn't make you money, you won't mind because, you know, you <laughs> have to cover, you know, if your son loves, you know, painting, you know, he can do that, you know, without any pressure. So we can also factor like certain elements within the estate education where we um, deploy like a homeschooling mechanism where we, you know, kids are, you know, raised, you know, based on their, you know, individual gifts. You know, we also factor like leisure into the estate where, you know, the outside world can also visit certain, you know, places of our estate to access, you know, you know, wow. everything facilities we have. So that literally itself, you know, generates revenue for our estate continuously. So even when we are done selling the houses, we literally making money continuously. So wow. and that this, money this also, is interesting. Yeah. This is interesting. So yeah. now. The houses in the estate, yeah. Uh, did did your company build them, or the houses were already built, and then you integrated them into your economy? Oh no, um, we build them um, the houses depending on the purchasing power of that area. So, um, if you if it's a high um income area, we'll develop like um a house bigger, like, bigger houses and all that. 
exactly. Um, if it's a low income area, we'll develop it. But the most important thing is the economic element, the circular economy system running is the same, even for the rich or the poor or whatever the case might be, is the same, it's constant. 